The recipe for Toyota Tacoma destruction. for Toyota Tacoma destruction. Sounds pretty ominous, doesn't it? Well, it could happen. And let me tell you what it is I mean. First of all, you know, Toyota is gonna be working on a redesign for the Toyota Tacoma, which should be coming out in the next, I'm guessing three or four years, right? But they're gonna start now because they've gotta do all the engineering work and all that. So this video is kind of directed at you Toyota Tacoma engineers out there. This is the recipe for Toyota Tacoma destruction. Number one, shortchange us on power. You know, there's all kinds of talk out there about hybrid systems and battery powered trucks, all this stuff, right? Turbos, shortchange us on power on the Tacoma and we're not gonna be happy. We're not gonna buy it. At least I'm not gonna, right? I mean, I think the Toyota Tacoma right now is borderline. Certainly, Toyota isn't going to give us even less power, right? We need to cut that out of the recipe right now. We need more horses, more power in the Toyota Tacoma. It doesn't take a lot. 50, 75, 100 horsepower? That's all it really would take. Or at least give us a tune. That was a big bump. Or at least give us a tune that's going to utilize everything that this motor can offer now. That's all we really need. Step two of this recipe for Toyota Tacoma destruction. Make the Toyota Tacoma fugly. I mean ugly. You know, right now, the Toyota Tacoma consistently scores five stars out of five stars when it comes to appearance, to looks, right? Now, why would Toyota change it? You know, I have a theory that they're going to base this new redesigned Toyota Tacoma on the Hilux, or the Helux. That's gonna make it fugly. Now, I don't have a big problem with the looks of the Hilux. I just don't wanna see it on my Toyota Tacoma, right? So I think that if they include fugliness in the recipe for the Toyota Tacoma, the redesigned upcoming Toyota Tacoma, it's gonna be a bad thing. We're not gonna buy it. Well, at least I'm not. Number three, the third ingredient in this recipe for Toyota Tacoma destruction is to force feed us auto stop technology. You know, it seems like all the manufacturers are going to that, right? Every time I turn around, I see a vehicle with auto stop in it. And I don't get it. I don't understand it. I've had nothing but trouble with that system in my Jeep Gladiator. Nothing but trouble. I hate the system anyway. You know, I don't like having my vehicle shut off when I pull up to a stop sign. I don't want that to happen. And I don't like having to remember, I guess I'm getting old. I don't like having to remember to push that button every time I restart the truck to eliminate the auto stop system. I think that if you're gonna do it, and this is where you need to listen up, Toyota, because I'm sure you're gonna do it, you need to have a setting, an option in the system that enables us, we, the buyer, the people that are paying for these trucks, the ability to permanently turn off the auto stop system. Porsche does it. I had a Porsche Boxster. Of course, it had the auto stop system on it. I don't know why, but they did have a button that once pushed, that system was turned off permanently. I didn't have to do it every time I restarted the car. It was off permanently. So Toyota, if you're listening, 
don't include auto stop as one of your ingredients in your recipe for the new Toyota Tacoma. But if you have to, if you've just got to put a dash of auto stop in there, give us a way to turn it off permanently if we choose. Next up, stick us with a six-speed automatic transmission. I know that transmissions are mostly going towards automatics these days. I know the manual transmission is dying. Unfortunately, I'm not happy about it. But if you're gonna force feed us, everybody, an automatic transmission, don't make it a six speed. We've gotta to go to at least an eight, maybe a 10, I don't know. The eight speed that I have in my Jeep Gladiator is fantastic. And there's no problems with it. Now, if Fiat Chrysler can manage to utilize an eight speed transmission in their products, you can't tell me that it's not good enough for Toyota. I mean, it works, it works fantastically. The power delivery from the motor to the ground in the Jeep Gladiator is awesome. There's absolutely no reason why one of the ingredients in the recipe for the new Toyota Tacoma can't include at least an eight-speed automatic transmission. Number five, and this is for the purists out there like me. Don't kill the manual transmission. If you're going to leave an ingredient out of the recipe, leave out auto stop, but make sure you include a manual transmission option. Now, maybe it's a build only option. That would be fine. You know, if you want a manual, you have to order it to get it. I'm not saying that that's my preference, but I'm saying as compared or opposed to completely destroying it, completely leaving it out of the recipe, at least keep it as an option out there. Kind of like a dash of pepper, right? If I want to season my steak a little bit, I can do it if I choose. Let's make it the same way for the manual transmission in the Toyota Tacoma. Let's not kill it all the way off. Nobody wants that. I don't want that. I want to still have the option to purchase a manual transmission in the Toyota Tacoma. And I'm not even saying you have to do anything more to it. You don't have to spend any R&D. You don't have to invest in it because I know ultimately it's going to completely disappear anyway. But leave it as a viable, a possible ingredient out there in the recipe for the redesigned Toyota Tacoma. I know there's a lot of other people out there who want it and I'm one of them. Anyway, I just wanted to run through the recipe for Toyota Tacoma destruction, that if Toyota chooses to follow this recipe and bake that cake, we're not gonna eat it. What do you think? Leave a comment, let me know. Would you be upset if Toyota follows this recipe that I've laid out? I'd be curious to know. Also, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye. Don't forget to click that notification button so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.